Hi, and welcome back to the Floating Bubble, where it's always story time here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also check out our podcast, available everywhere. The Story of Passover by David A. Adler, illustrated by Jill Weber. The Story of Passover begins more than 3,000 years ago when Jacob and his family settled in Egypt. Jacob was called Israel, and his family were called the children of Israel. They were also called Hebrews because of the language they spoke. Many years passed. Jacob and his children had all died. To the Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, the children of Israel were outsiders. He was afraid that one day they would rebel. To control them, he made them slaves. He forced them to do hard work. They were beaten. Some were killed. The wise men of Egypt told the Pharaoh that one day a Hebrew boy would be born who would lead his people against Egypt. They couldn't tell him which boy it would be. So Pharaoh decreed that every newborn Hebrew boy must be thrown into the river and drowned. One boy was saved. At first, his mother hid him. Then when he grew too big to hide, she placed him in a small basket. She put the basket in the river. The baby's sister Miriam hid nearby to see what would happen. A princess, the Pharaoh's daughter, found the baby. She named him Moses and planned to raise him as her own child. Miriam ran to her. Should I get you someone to help you with the baby? Yes, the princess said. Miriam brought the baby's mother to work in the palace. Moses was adopted by the princess but he knew he was one of the children of Israel. When he was a young man, he saw an Egyptian beat a slave. Moses attacked the Egyptian and killed him. Then he ran away. Moses settled far from Egypt. He married and worked as a shepherd. One day, while Moses was watching his sheep, he saw a burning bush. There were flames but the bush wasn't harmed. Moses, Moses, a voice called from the bush. Yes, here I am. God spoke to Moses from the burning bush. He told Moses to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. Moses and his older brother Aaron went to the Pharaoh. They asked him to let the children of Israel go free. The Pharaoh refused. He forced the children of Israel to work even harder. Moses and Aaron warned him that if he didn't let the Hebrews go, the waters of Egypt would turn to blood. The Pharaoh refused, and the waters turned to blood. That was the first plague to strike Egypt. There were ten Frogs covered the land. A thick cloud of lice swarmed over Egypt. Animals ran wild. The Egyptians' cattle became terribly sick and died. Painful boils broke out on the skin of the Egyptians. Huge hailstones mixed with fire fell on the land. A swarm of locusts attacked Egypt. It was as dark as night in the middle of the day. Then came the tenth plague. One by one, the firstborn Egyptian sons died. The angel of death only visited the homes of the Egyptians. He passed over the homes of the children of Israel. The Pharaoh was frightened. He was a firstborn son. 
He called for Moses and Aaron. Leave now, he told them. Go quickly before we all die. The children of Israel left that very night. The next day, the Pharaoh had a change of heart. He and his army chased after the former slaves. The Pharaoh's soldiers had horses, and their chariots were getting closer and closer to the children of Israel. The Red Sea was in front of them. The soldiers were behind them. They seemed trapped. God told Moses to lift his stick and to spread his hands over the sea. Moses did, and the sea divided. The children of Israel walked through the sea on dry land. The Pharaoh's army followed them. Then when the soldiers were in the midst of the sea, Moses raised his stick again. The waters flooded together. The Egyptians drowned, and the children of Israel were free. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.